Welcome. Thank you. No gift for me today. You have everything as soon as I'm done with that old hag. But you really scared me. How? You shouldn't have poisoned Ruby's milk. You almost killed her. Oh, come on. I wish I did. I mean, that's the only thing binding that old hag and I together. If I had killed the girl, I would have been released from her shackles. That was mean. Really? Meanwhile, you promised me a house mm -hmm. and a car. <laughs> I can see someone still has her eyes on the prize. <laughs> of course you'll get it. Hmm? But for now, you should concentrate on making me happy. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Okay, I can see someone likes to play. Oh. <laughs> now I'm getting the old this. I sure you want to do this. Thank you, Mr. Danzi. You're not giving me all the proof I need. Now, this innocent woman will know the kind of devil she married. <laughs> no, listen. You know the problem I have with you? You talk too damn much. And I'm gonna make you disappear just like a nana. Ah! You remember her? The last babysitter. She is rotting away in the suck away. And you know the interesting part? Margaret will always believe what I tell her. She will always believe everything I tell her. Now give me that phone. Well, well. This old head. Heard everything for herself. Um, babies know what you're saying. Oh, shut up! Shut your dirty mouth, Dandy. I heard what you said, and also recorded it. Listen to me, and listen to me real good. I'll make sure you rot in jail for the rest of your miserable life. You poison our daughter and kill my last baby sister, Daddy! <laughs>
It again, Madame must be good to me, and I don't want to offend her. But you can call him Madame. What's Madame got to do with this? Hmm? Listen, I've told you it is you that I want. In a very short time, in a very short time, I'll get everything I want, and and I'll take you with me. Yes. In the meantime, oh, if you don't stop, I will be forced to tell Madame what we have been doing. What have you been doing? Wait, you tell Madame what we've been doing? I mean, you're willing to lose your job because of this? Everything, everything that I give you, everything, the money, you're willing to let that go because you're growing a conscience? Listen, even if you spoke, no one will believe you. Do you know why? Because you do not have any single evidence against me. So you better remove that stupid thought from your head. Do you understand? Oh, I am pregnant. You what? Hey, listen. You're not going to ruin things for me. Do you understand? There you go. <laughs> Mommy, Miss Dami says she pick her calls and talk to her. Oh, sh she said you better talk to her. She will stop us from coming to school. <laughs> Mommy will talk to her, okay? I have an interview today and as soon as I get this job, I'm going to pay your school fees, okay? Mommy, sorry, okay? It's okay, Mommy. Everything will be fine. That is my girl. Good. So do you understand all the instructions? Yes, I do not. Especially when it comes to my daughter. Most of her meals are special. And do not give her anything that does not come from us. Okay, ma, I understand. Any question? Um, yes, ma, I do like to ask why the last baby sister left. It helps me to understand my clients better. I haven't the faintest idea. She packed up her baggages and left without a note in her head. My daughter really liked her. She was good at her job. Oh. And I hope you won't do the same thing. Oh. That's my husband, Dandy. Good morning, sir. My name is Mona. Good morning. Mona. And I was asking that I hope you don't do the same thing the last person did. No, sir. I wouldn't do anything like that. We shall see. You can start work immediately. You are highly recommended by the company. Thank you, ma'am. God bless. You're welcome. Uh, you can go now. All right, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. You like her? Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we have to try and hope she turns out good. We just have to give her a try. Yeah. That's it. 
Mm. Mm -hmm. Mommy, mm. I want to bring grandma to come and stay with us for a period of time. No, mom, no. We will be fine. I can take care of Miracle. Really, we don't need anyone. Oh, but I can't leave two of you all alone in this house. I will not be able to have peace of mind to concentrate on my work. Trust me, Mom. We don't need anyone. I trust you, my baby. But I don't trust what people will say when they get to hear that I left two of you alone in this house. But you'll be coming in on weekends. They will not know why you're not around. <sighs> people talk, okay? Let me allow Sister Chica to come. I know she's your favorite. No, Mom. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> Mommy, you see Sister Chica? Mm -hmm. She would rather die than to allow anything to happen to you, Kate. Yes, I need an older hand that can take care of two of you for me. This neighborhood is not safe to leave Kate unattended. Okay? <sighs> but you'll see me coming in next Oh. Day. I wouldn't miss that for the world. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the baby like? Ah, it's just a little sweet thing that needed special care. Really? What happened to her? No, nothing. She's fine. It's just a eating disorder, according to the doctor. Okay. Oh, <sighs> oh my baby. Wow, Hi, sis. You're right on time. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah, my lovelies. Yeah, ah, they're inside. See, eh? I needed this job, so I want to start it on a very good note. Hmm? Okay, okay. Miss Bobby! Miss Bobby! I miss you, Miss Miracle. Miracle, Miss Bobby, girl. Alright, girls. Okay. Bye. So. Bye, mommy. Be good. Be bye, 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 We can hang your clothes, your TV, you can watch when you're less busy, and this is your bed. You like it? I love it, Ma. Thank you. Ah, uh, come mm. off it. Call me Maggie. You go freshen up and come upstairs. I have a few more things to show you around the house. I'll be leaving for the office at 11 a.m. All right, Ma. Oh. Sorry. I'll be up as soon as possible. You hurry up. I wouldn't want to be late for work. I can actually bring my children here and stay with the right money. <laughs>
Small Maram, good afternoon. Afternoon. Um, I want to ask, is it only me and you and the driver that is working in this big house? Small Maram, the driver no sleep here. He go every day. Eh. Why? Now, go, when him come, he sack everybody. <laughs> now, only the other small Maram is there. You mean uh, <laughs> Madam Husband? Yes, now. Let me your guy for this house. Okay. I'll just make I ask. Zero. Can you go now? I think I'll go back. Come on, young one. somewhere.
What a day. Wake up, Mum. Oh, Mona. Are you awake? Yes, Mum. Anything the problem? No. Is my daughter fine? She's fine and sleeping soundly. Huh? Okay. I was wondering if you need anything. You know, it's late, but I can make you something to eat. I keep late night too. You know, I have a daughter. Mona, I know. I've read your file, remember? Have you had something to eat? Mm. Um, I have different types of food in the freezer. They are all labeled. But if you want to cook something else for yourself, the driver will take you to the market to buy things. Okay? All right. Thank you, Mom. Ah, Maggie. <laughs> I won't be leaving early for work tomorrow. You can actually go visit your children. But come back at 11 a.m. I'll take care of my daughter until you return, okay? Thank you very much. I'm grateful. You're welcome. Okay. You go good to night, Mom. And have a good night rest. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Hey. <laughs> oh my god. Oh hey, your mom is calling. Let's pick it. Hi sis, what's up? How are you guys doing? You're cool though. You're watching best baby. Is Miracle still awake by this time? Yes, mommy, we miss you. We went to the park, mommy. Uh -uh. I already heard that. No more that they are still awake. You have formed my children with sugar, Abby. Calm down, sis. We only wait on sightseeing. <laughs> well, that's a good thing. You're the one suffering it now. Make sure they don't go to school late in the morning, no? They won't. So you need to put them to bed now. Alright. Mm, I'm a bum. I'm a bum. <laughs> <laughs>
You know your cookie really smells good. It's been a while I perceived this kind of aroma in this house. Mm. Are you okay? Hmm? Listen, you have nothing to worry about, alright? I came down here because of the aroma that I perceived. I was hoping that you were going to invite me for dinner. Father is actually a weird one. Okay, baby, let me play with you small. Put watching movie before she slept up. Let me take her in. Where is the other one? Ada is her name. She's inside sleeping. Let me get this. It's your sister's household, and she's not around. The kids can sleep. So who's gonna tell her? Oh, you bad influence! Come on. <laughs> the man in their house. Please. What are you hiding? Is it no matter you, you let them know about men and what men can do to them? Don't ever say that again. Don't. I was just making a suggestion. Don't make such a suggestion with my nieces. Get up and get out. We'll see you later at night when we are asleep. Yeah. Not even a kiss. No. Get up. My gosh! My God! Did it go now? Huh?
Yes. It's not Maram. Good morning. Morning, Akban. I say, let me ask you again. Apart from Oga and his madam, is there any other person living inside this house with us? No, it's not Maram. Now only you, Oga and madam, and this small Maram, they're this house. All right. Any problems, Mama Ram? No, Alpha. No problem, you can go. You see now my enemy? Man, see now my young good. Don't go. And see now my enemy. See now my enemy. See now my young good. Good evening, sir. Muna, call me Dandy. Good evening, Mr. Dandy. Good. You know I like you, right? Why are you sitting far away? Come close. Sit here. I need to talk to you about something. Come. Don't be shy. You know I've been watching you for the past few days. And I am convinced that I really do like you. Thank you, sir. Dandy, Mona. Call me Dandy. Thank you, Mr. Dandy. I'll give you the good life. I'll give you everything, even things you have never dreamt of. I'll make you rich. Yes. But your madam is ten times prettier than I am. More educated than I am. A million times richer than I am. Why do you prefer me? Well, it was obvious. My... Honeypot has given birth to two kids. Has just one. Why in the world will you prefer me? <laughs> well, the answer is very, very clear. You're younger. Of course, both you and your... and your honeypot. I mean... not some wrinkled... Ugh. I don't even want to talk about that. Listen. 
you're just a complete woman, you know. You're hardworking. <laughs> you know what it means to have a husband and a child. Yes. But I can see she's trying hard to combine the two. Then let her assume her position as a woman. I am the man. All right, she should relinquish everything that has to do with work to me. I mean, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I am the man. I should be working. And then she belongs to the kitchen or something. She should, she should have time to take care of her family, take care of her husband and her child. But of course, she wants to be the boss, isn't it? She wants to be the Odogu, right? <laughs> Listen. Mona. I am not happy. I want you to make me a happy man again. You know, I'll give you everything. I'm sorry, sir. The baby is crying. Let me go and make her food. We'll continue this conversation later. Yes, mm. mommy, we miss you too. Fix it, okay? I'm coming. All right, baby. Yes, sis. Shift from the children, I have gist. Oh, you talk, what's up, sis? <laughs> Babe, see me so wahala. My madam husband wants to, he's offering me money to sleep with me. Hmm. You're lucky, you. someone is offering you money. Me, they will not me finish. I still collect the little I have. Chica. I hope my kids are not listening to you. Please be serious. They are far away. Anyway, he has a lot of complaints about his wife. <laughs> Sis, forget those. He will say anything to knock you. That's meant for you. That is the point. But he's offering me big money and a lot of goodies. <laughs> Your madam has been nice. And she hasn't been bitchy. So I'll advise you not to do it. I was never going to do it. I was just gisting you. I'm not seeking opinion. For your mind. <laughs> See, there's, there's, there's something creepy about this man. There's this glint in his eyes. You know, he's very young. He's, got, he's younger than my madam. Huh. Hope you don't be go digger. Exactly what's on my mind. <laughs> you have to be very careful. Anyway, I think they are back. We'll talk later, okay? My regards to the kids. All right, sis. Bye. Who go come knock me now? Come give me plenty money. What is now? No, I meant knock. You know when you knock, you knock at the door. So you want someone to offer you big money and knock you? It, it, it's it's like a game. You know when you you're playing game, knock the thing. You won't understand. Uh, please. Go back to your reading. I'm sure my assignment. Then pack your books, please. Showing you how serious I can be. Please stop, Madame can be upstairs. Why do you keep talking about Madame? Huh? Listen, I'm sure she's fast asleep. She's probably snoring. I put some pill in her drink. So I can assure you that she's sleeping and snoring away her life. You have nothing to worry about. Okay? I'm not worried about her. I'm worried about you. Right. 
You are leaving a diamond to meddle with an iron scrap like me, laying in a junkyard. That I don't understand. <laughs> Wait, I'm leaving a what? What a diamond? Who? Who's who's diamond? That one? Not all the glitters. It's diamond. Her name. All right. Some diamonds are camouflaged, and while some are laying in there covered in metal scrap, waiting to be noticed. You have your ways with words, but I'm not betraying a woman that have trusted me with her child. How do you even keep getting into my room, even when it's locked? Look around you. This is my house. All right? And I'm going to say this, and I'll say it just once. The wisest thing you can do is accept me. You can have everything, or have nothing. Hmm. Resorting to traits now, right? Of course not. Anyway, the next time you step into my room, I'm going to scream until every living thing within five miles hear my voice. Leave my room. Now. Consider that your pay off. Because you're obviously not going to be here for a long time. Vika, what are you doing here? Who opened the door for you? I thought it was you and then I came in asking for you. I will deal with you later. Take Miracle inside the room. I thought I told you we will only see when they are asleep. What are you trying to be? A friend of the family? Come on, babe. This is just a harmless gesture. You are a liar. And where are you coming from, Miss Ernie? It's none of your freaking business. Get out. Get up and get out. Okay. I'll be back in the night. Back at night? You're joking. I gave you my body to mess with, not my family. When you're back to your freaky senses, I'll give you a call. So, out. Drop this. I'll be back. Get out. Good evening, how are you? How's my baby today? Boo boo! How are you? Oh no, I need to wash my hands first before I do that. Mama! Don't worry, I'm just gonna feed you, okay? You know, when you're done with her feed, you bring it upstairs. I want to feed her myself. Alright. Boo boo! 
ya. Good morning. Boop, 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 boop. Hey. Yeah, that's my boo boo. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Don't worry. I'll do this. Okay. I'll let you know once I'm done. Okay? Is there anything else? Oh, it's okay. No. You sure? Yes. It's alright. You don't want to eat? It's okay. Let me feed you. Mm -hmm. okay. You don't want to eat? You don't want to? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You have your pacifier back. Alright. It's okay. Okay, darling. Aww. Boo -boo. I can see you're expecting me. I don't want to be taken on my ways this time. Leave my room. I have nothing to offer you that your beautiful wife doesn't have. Look, I get offended when you call her my beautiful wife. Now, if you must know, I am here for the money. And as soon as I get that, I am out of this shithole called marriage. And this is why. This is why I'm offering you the good life in my paradise. And when you're done with me, you look for another fish in the ocean. Mona. Just give me what I want. And I'll reward you with a beautiful house and a beautiful car. Mm. Hmm. That sounds tempting. I know. But my answer remains no. And what's the meaning of this? Leave my room or I scream. Oh, I'm so scared. Come on, look around here. No matter how hard you scream, no one will hear you. And that one doesn't even have the right to come into my house, so you see, you're stuck. Then I'll have to start in seven different ways. And I'm going to call the police tonight. You took my money. And then you stabbed me. Come on, how do you think that story is going to sound to the police? Hmm? Which money? This is how you want to play this game. Is that not so? You regret it. I assure you. How? Oh, you have already paid me off. <laughs> Soon enough, Mona. Soon enough. Babe, this is going to be very stressful. I've not slept since last night. I've been awake on guard. 
So he still comes at night to disturb you? Yes. Hmm. Sis, I counted the money. It's 250,000 Naira. <laughs> See, I think you should leave that job and search for another. Don't allow that man to taint your record though. My pity is on that woman. She doesn't know the devil she's sleeping with as husband. Sis, don't be an instrument to a broken home. Such matters are complicated, you know. What if I use that money as an evidence to tell the woman what the husband has in store for her? No, 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 no. That money is your backup plan. In case things go sir, I'm keeping that money for you. Now I'm beginning to understand why the first babysitter left without a note or sign. She just packed up and left. Hmm. With all what you've said about that man and the nasty dream you had the other night, I hope that babysitter left at the first place. Since with what is happening now, I better resign you. But before I do, I'm going to tell my madam what the husband is planning for her. Sis, we have to be very, very careful. All right, sis. Thank you. Hurry up for the feed. Baby's hungry.
Ruby, let's okay. see. Yeah. Ooh, my baby. See you, Ruby. Okay then, go there and make her listen. I will try. Oh wait, let me catch some sleep. Afternoon. Good afternoon, madam. How may I help you? Is Miss Abba in the office? Yes, she is. Do you have an appointment with her? No. But please tell her that her daughter's life is in danger. And my name is Mona. Alright, ma'am, right away. I'm coming. See, ma, I don't know how to start explaining to you. So I brought the only evidence I have with me. I can make your husband repeat those words on a recorded device for you to know that your life is in danger. Also your daughter's life. I know Dandy is not a saint. Most men are not. But for him to want to poison his daughter is preposterous. It's unheard of. I'm not supposed to come here. But here I am. I can't leave without letting you know that your life is in danger. Get him to admit to it. Then I will deal with him my own way. You come back to the house and beg for your job. Make him to understand that now you will give in to his desires. All right, Mo. How does you said? I beg to take my leave. It's okay. Thank you very much. Small madam, small madam. Oh, God, go sack me. Small madam, go out. Small madam, go out, go out, go out. I know gray, I know gray. Small madam, oh, God, go sack me for work. Oh, God, go sack me for work, small madam. I know gray. Small madam, small madam, live here now. Small madam, come up. Come up on this compound, small madam. Oh, God, go sack me for work. Please, I'm sorry. 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 Please, I'
Please, Should I? Okay, I'll go sideways for one. I know gray. I know gray. I know gray. You're you are my friend. Go out from this place. Go out. Small madam, I know gray. Small madam, I know gray. What's going on here? I'll go. Small, I must. Small madam, I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. Oh, okay. Let's have Small madam. Please, sir. Please, sir. Forgive me, please. Please, I'm sorry. I'll be very stupid, please. Have mercy. I'm here now. Just give me the life, the good life you promised, please. Please, I will do anything you ask me to do, please. Do anything. Yes, sir, please. Please, sir. Thank you. Please, sir. I've come to beg you first. I know with you I can come back to my job. I'll be playing dumb all along, trying to be good, which has led me nowhere. Please, I'm begging you, take me back. I'm tired of living a poor life. Please, just take me back, make me comfortable. That is all I ask. Please, I'm ready to do anything for you. I'm ready. Please. Stop. You know me. I would have pinned you on this chair and had my way with you. But I'm going to work. And I'm running late. But the good thing is that at least <laughs> you have come to your senses. So what if my wife was around? I've been outside for three days. Counting and waiting for Mother Lock to favor me. Wishing that she leave the house first before you so I can come and talk to you. Mm. Three days. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's a good sign. At least you're serious. Hmm. All right, like I said, I have to go to work. You know what? Come back in two days and make a general apology to my wife and I. All right. In the meantime, I'll walk you to the door. Thank you so much. So as long as continue with you try. No problem. Thank you. Come back in two days. Alright, Daddy. Hello, ma'am. Yeah, I'm just coming up from your house. He you bought the hook. Yes. I think we should give her a second chance. But she tried to poison our daughter. Look, I know. All right? But it was an honest mistake. And she has even apologized. All right? Remember what they say. <clears throat> that the devil you know is better than the angel you do not know. Now, you don't want to go about changing nannies. I mean, that enough is not even good for our child. She makes such a mistake again. I'll make sure she rots in jail. I'm sorry, my it will never happen again. 
Okay. You get up and start off again. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Oh, get up and go make yourself useful. We need to Honey. Are you sure you're okay with this? Babes, listen. If she does it again, I will personally take care of her. You sure? Yeah, they left like an hour ago. I didn't, I, I was surprised he didn't turn up last night. Do you think he suspect any trap? I don't know what to think. In fact, I, Maggie might be thinking I'm lying to her. Relax girl, this is just day one. I suspect he did not think Maggie would take him back. So he's not ready for tonight's adventure. He always drug her whenever he wants to hunt. Hope you told her that too. Yeah, I did. She 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 even uh, visited her doctor and she was tested. There was a trace of uh, volume five in her in her blood, so she knows. That is more than enough evidence. She wants to catch him red-handed. You guys will. He will surely come back this night. That the boogeyman is. <laughs> Butch girl. Abe, where is Mama? She's in the kitchen cooking. Hmm. You are really taking advantage of that old woman. No? All right, dear. Call you guys later. Okay. Mommy. Mommy. Hey, love. Oh, hi, honey. I really have to run along now. I want to go and meet uh, the members of the committee, and after that, I will be heading home. Okay. Is there anything you want me to do? Okay, darling. I'll see you later. Did you see? Why not? Oh. No, one more. It's no. enough. Go, go away. See you at home. Okay. See you soon. Hey, Jenny. 
Is the planning committee holding a meeting today? Thank you. No gift for me today. You have everything as soon as I'm done with that old hack. But you really scared me. How? You shouldn't have poisoned Ruby's milk. You almost killed her. Oh, come on. I wish I did. I mean, that's the only thing binding that old hag and I together. If I had killed the girl, I would have been released from her shackles. That was mean. Really? Meanwhile, you promised me a house mm -hmm. and a car. <laughs> well, I can see someone still has her eyes on the prize. <laughs> of course you'll get it. Hmm? But for now, you should concentrate on making me happy. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Okay, I can see someone likes to play. Oh. <laughs> now I'm getting too old for this. I sure you want to do this. Thank you, Mr. Dandy. You're not giving me all the proof I need. Now, this innocent woman will know the kind of devil she married. No, listen. You know the problem I have with you? You talk too damn much. And I'm gonna make you disappear just like in Nenna. You remember her? The last babysitter. She is rotten away in the suck away. You know the very part? Margaret will always believe what I tell her. She will always believe everything I tell her. Now give me that phone. Well, well. This old hag heard everything for herself. Um, babies know what you think. Oh, shut up! Shut your dirty mouth, Dandy. I heard what you said and also recorded it. Listen to me, and listen to me real good. 
I'll make sure you rot in jail for the rest of your miserable life. You poisoned our daughter and killed my last babysitter! Damn it! last babysitter in the silken way at the back of the house. Okay. We will take care of that. And I will need you both at the station for your statement. Okay? My arm is dislocated. It's okay. I will call an ambulance on my way. Okay. Thank you. Take care of yourself. allowing them moving with me. We're family now. You deserve this and more. Oh, you go to the room, girls. Uh, no. Go to the room now. Go to the room. 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 Go to